Hey guys, so I wanted to show you a quick rundown of Process Explorer Sys Internals. Now this has been around for a long, long time. This is not a new thing. Uh, this has been around for a long, long time. But I wanted to show you how you can use it to help identify malware on a system and see whether or not you have any infected services running. Now this shows a lot more than your typical uh, start uh, process your, your task is for. Typically when you go into your task manager here and you go to processes right here, this is all you're going to see. You see just a little bit here, right? Well, with Process Explorer, it's branched out into a tree system and you can see what's running under absolutely everything, how much uh, CPU, how much memory, the description, company name, all that sort of stuff. A lot, a lot of useful information here for determining stuff. Now what you've really, the, the coolest feature about this is that you can go through and you can click on this virustotal.com virus for you those of you who do not know virustotal.com is a website you can go to to verify uh, files against I think it's like 48 uh, virus engines uh, uh, antivirus engines um, so what we're going to do is we're going to check virustotal.com and it's going to bring up your web browser and it's going to ask you to agree to the terms of service and everything. You can just scroll through and look through here if you want to. And you minimize that. And this is asking if we want to agree to the terms of service. We're just going to hit yes right here. And you'll see now that we've got this new little tab. We're just going to drag that right over here. And you can see that each thing has been submitted to vir oh, 56. I have 56 virus engines. Now we all know that some give off fake or false alerts. So if you see anything on your system that has only just five or under uh, out of 50 out of out of the total amount of virus scanners, you probably shouldn't worry too much. Like this right here, the Tech Tool Store. That's actually a uh, tool used for removing infections. Uh, one scanner has picked up a tool in it, and it's actually probably picking up a tool in it called Trust Viewer um, because it's a remote access software that sometimes shows up as being in an infection. And it's the only one in there that I have not uh, removed from the tool set, so that's probably what that's picking up. Um, but if you were to run this on a new on a uh, system that you knew was infected or you suspected was infected, you could run down through here and you would be able to see all the processes that are running, and you would be able to see whether or not any pr uh, malicious uh, processes were running, and how much uh, CPU usage they were taking, and how much memory they were running fantastic way for identifying infections and just to help reassure that your system is clean of malware. Granted not every bit of malware runs as a process but this will help you track your CPU usage and memory usage in a much more uh, extensive way so that you would be able to um, track anything that was eating up too much of your resources so that you could keep a closer eye on that sort of a thing. Um, speaking of memory usage, you can see Google Chrome is eating up a ton of it, and I cannot wait for them to release their newest update. They've got rolling it out here soon. It's supposed to reduce their uh, amount of uh, RAM usage. So I am I am greatly greatly looking forward to that because uh, Google Chrome takes up a ton of RAM. But uh, that's a neat feature. Just wanted to show it to you. Now you know how to use uh, Sys Internals Process Explorer along with Virus Total to check your processes to see if any of them are infected to help. Just another thing to check to see if your system is clean or not. Again, if you see something that has a rating of 1 to 5 out of the total, uh, be wary of it. Um, just check it out, see what it is, see if it's something that you can trust, 
this is a tool that I know is trusted. Um, this is a, it's just one out of all of them, so it's a false positive. Um, I hope you like this video. If you uh, would like to know more about this tool, comment below. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description as well. Um, I just created a Patreon account. If you guys would go over and check that out, that would be completely awesome. You could help support this channel and help support future projects. Not only projects that I want to build for you guys to show y'all how to do more and more, but also um, projects in uh, helping to get uh, computers and fix them up and give them to kids in need who cannot, and families in need who cannot afford uh, to purchase computers. That's something I'm trying to get going. That's my first goal on Patreon. If I hit my uh, 500 a month goal, um, so that I, that's something I could start doing. Um, go over there and check that out. It's an awesome thing. Uh, hit like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you next time.